Today's video comes to us from a, an email from a client that I received last week. And the basic premise of it is this. It looks like when you're working with pivot tables that sometimes you can sort the pivot table and sometimes you can't. It seems like a peculiar problem, one that's got to have a solution. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why this happens, the fact that it's actually the way the program is intended to work, and then talk about a workaround for that. So first of all, here's the experience. I'm in this pivot table. As you can see, I have a number of customers for each of these different city-state combinations. And if I go to something like the state field drop down menu, I can go to sort A to Z. And as you can see here, it doesn't seem to pay any attention to me. In the same way, I can go over here to my number of customers. I can go to my data tab at the top of the screen and click A to Z. And it doesn't seem to pay any attention to me. It does not rearrange based off the number of customers. It does not rearrange based off the state um, that people are, are customers from and so that's really strange as opposed to on pivot table 2 down here as you can see we have all of these different um, doctors and we have the number of patients that they've assisted I should be able to go to this drop down menu here sort the doctors by alphabetical order or I should be able to click somewhere on that number of patients column click Z to A and put the doctors who have helped the most patients at the top of the list and the ones who have helped the fewest patients at the bottom of the list. And it seems like in this pivot table, it works. So what's actually happening here? Well, what's happening is if you go back to pivot table one, you'll see that there are two separate entries in the rows field over on the right hand side that city and state are both in the rows area. And this is the cause of the problem. Let's look at a slightly different set of data. Here on pivot table number three, you can see that I've got um, two separate entries in the rows field. One for what type of property it is, commercial versus residential, and another for what subtype of property it is. And as you can see, there are many different subtypes underneath the type commercial, and there are many different subtypes underneath the type residential. And because of that, if I click on the entries underneath commercial, let's say I click on multi-story right here, I can sort these in Z to A order, for example, using the data tab, and you'll see that it rearranges the entries, but only the entries so that they stay under commercial because every single one of these is a subcategory for commercial. And in the same way, if I go over here to the total sales and I sort in numeric order by which type of properties have the most sales, again, it's only sorting the items that are under the category of commercial. And in fact, when you go back to pivot table one, that's the way this used to look. Let's take a look at what I did to make pivot table one look the way it looks now. What I did was I went up to the design tab at the top of the screen on the report layout drop down menu. I chose two things. Uh, the first was to show this in tabular format. So it sort of puts those over to the side. And then on report layout, I chose repeat item labels. So now you see commercial and retail, commercial single story, commercial single occupant. You see they're lined up like this. And the last thing I had to do was go to subtotals and turn off the subtotals. And so you can see here, and I, actually I did one more thing. Over on the analyze tab, I pressed this button for plus minus buttons just to get rid of those. And so you can see that this looks an awful lot like pivot table one now where I have the city name next to the state, and then I have the number of customers over to the side. Same with here, pivot table three, I have the property type next to the property subtype next to total sales. And what you'll notice here is that for my major category over here on the left, there are a few different commercial property types. And so if I go to total sales and I sort it A to Z on the data tab, you'll see that commercial is sorted in numerical order and also residential is sorted in numeric order. So if we come back to the initial pivot table, what solutions do we have? What we really need to do is we need to make sure 
that the farthest left entry in the rows field, meaning if you look down here in the bottom right, the topmost entry in the rows field, that needs to be something that is a category of items, something that is repeated on a regular basis. So if possible, you want to be able to take something like the state field and put it on top of the city field, because now there are multiple states that are the same, and I should be able to go to the state drop-down menu and sort it Z to A, or sort it A to Z, as you can see right there. And then once that is done, then within California, we should be able to sort by city, right? So here I should be able to choose the drop down menu and choose Z to A. And you can see here that it remains California, 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 and that the cities are alphabetized within California, and then the cities are alphabetized within Colorado. Or in the same way, if I go over here to number of cu customers and hit Z to A, I can see that the number of customers goes in numeric order through all of California and then numeric order through all of Colorado. So that's really the only solution that allows you to do sorting in that pivot table. If you have one of those fields in the rows that allows you to group those together or have a category, then it'll work. If you don't have anything like that or if you can't work with it that way, or really if you just decide that, you know what, I want my number of customers, all the fours to come up to the top because you can see here, this Denver four is getting lost in the shuffle because it happens to be sorting Colorado down here and California up here. If you want to change this in, in whatever way, you really only have one option, which is to make this into a flat set of data instead of a pivot table. And the way you would do that is just a control A on your keyboard, control C on your keyboard to copy. And then if I go over here, let's say to E3, um, could, this could go anywhere, it doesn't matter that it's in the same sheet. Uh, then when you go to the Home tab at the top of the screen, you can choose on the Paste drop-down menu, not a standard paste, because as you can see, a standard paste just keeps it as a pivot table. Instead, you want to do a Paste Values, which will just make this flat data, and then if you want to sort by the number of customers, it won't pay attention to the categories anymore. It'll say, okay, well, if you want to sort by number of customers, just click in the number of customers column here, use the data tab, and sort Z to A. And of course here, you probably want to take the grand total out, move the rest of these back up. There we go. Okay, so now, as you can see, because I sorted by number of customers, all the fours are at the top, all the threes are right below that, etc as opposed to the way the sorting worked in the pivot table because it recognizes categories when it, they're in the rows field over here, the four is down here, and then four, three, two, one over here. So those are the two solutions. Number one, move the most category-oriented item to the farthest left entry in the rows field. Or number two, just copy and paste it out and make it into a flat set of information. Now, of course, if you do that, you're going to need to recreate this um, over and over again as the data updates, but that's really the only solution I can find to the problem. So good luck with this. Uh, if you guys have any other possible solutions, make sure you put them in the comments. Have a great day and be amazing at what you do.